We have an update to a story uh, on we first told you about last month, a mother's search for her missing son. It led her to Brooks County. The county sheriff says they found his remains. They say his death highlights the risk migrants take trying to head north. Channel 5's Christian Colon has all the details. It's not sure how long the Salvadorian man spent through this deadly Brooks County brush, but what we do know is he did not make it out alive. Last month, Indira Renderos got into a helicopter in Falfurias to go searching for her missing son. For nearly two hours in the air, she checked out coordinates her son's phone detected, but found no sign of him. Today, she's mourning his loss. <laughs> Her son Rodrigo Renderos wallet, a school report card, an ID, and some family pictures, all found next to what was left of his body. Hunters were out there and they came across skeletal remains. Brooks County Sheriff Benny Martinez says they reached out to the family once they analyzed all the documents. He adds they searched for Renderos last month but couldn't find anything because the coordinates the mom was using were not accurate. Her son was farther out. Martina says he has noticed this with other bodies he has found recently as well. They're moving further west where there's really no signal, no good signal as far as telephones is concerned with phone towers, etc. And also no placards. Over 900 signs placed by Border Patrol for migrants who have been abandoned by their smugglers meant to help them find safety. Or when they call in and give out those placards, the number on it, well, they'll be able to get to them quicker if they stay, if they stay there versus a ping of a, of a uh, telephone tower. Because in this case, they were somewhere on a straight line about four miles from the body, two and a half to four miles from the body. There's no way you're going to find the body. Just this year, Martina says he has found 11 bodies, adding there are probably more yet to be found. As for Indira, we did reach out to the McAllen Salvadoran consulate. We were told there was no one who could talk to us about the case. We also reached out to the embassy in Washington, D.C., and we are still waiting to hear back. For now, the mother waits for dental and DNA tests to confirm identification, where she hopes to give him the proper burial she says he deserves. In Falfurias, Christian Colon, Channel 5 News at 6.